Welcome back to my So You Want to Be a Dice Maker series. I'm back today with another mold review. So if you watched my last video, you'll already know that Amazon has started selling some cheaper molds that are not the super crappy ones that were available when I first started. These all look a bit like cap molds, although I don't know exactly what they're going to look like until they arrive because pictures can be super deceiving. But I have my second mold and this one's kind of cool because it comes with some other stuff. So this is from, I think the company is Minghu Gaga. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I will link it in the description. This one was $19.98 on Amazon and it came with some casting supplies. So let's go through it and then we'll go make a set of dice and see if it's good. This is actually pretty nice. It comes with four mixing cups. I prefer the ones that have dark lines so you can actually see your measurements really, really well. But I mean, these are great cups. There's nothing wrong with them. It comes with four of the smaller mixing cups that I use all the time. And then there's like some really small silicone cups. I've never really used these for anything other than UV resin. They're just like a little too tiny, but I know some people love them. So that's cool. Also comes with a teeny little silicone mat. I won't be using this today, but I will put it aside. I like having mats this size for both my wax seal and for UV resin. And then it comes with, okay, I never use these, but they're like the little finger covers. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're like, if you're glove rips. I don't know. I've never used them. There are some pipettes, silicone mixing stick, silicone spoon tool. I don't know. You can use this for a lot of things. Another silicone thing just in pink and then a little like plastic spoon thing. So that's all the extras. The mold actually comes in a really nice tin. A reminder, this was 1998, y'all. Migu Gaga, yeah, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Let's open the mold. There were a lot of color options. I chose pink. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe, I don't have any pink molds, so maybe that's why. Not that I would confuse this for any of my other molds. <laughs> it's got a shield on it. This is substantial silicone. This already feels so much sturdier than the Let's Resin one that I bought. Really nice placement of the keys to keep this locked together. This is stiff silicone. I don't know if it's too stiff. I guess we'll find out. The font is very simple, but I do like it, and they are... It looks like they're going to be nice size. So let's go take it down to the garage and make some dice. See how this mold stacks up. For this second mold review, I really wanted to do just a simple pour, but I'm definitely still feeling all of the winter vibes. So that's kind of what I was doing for this dice set. I started by adding some ice mylar and then this really beautiful blue foil, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I don't know why I don't use it more. I have this teal glitter that I also almost never use. And I just put in a little because I didn't want it to be overpowering some white glitter. I think this was a sample from one of the companies I used, so I can't remember exactly what it is. And then no set would be complete without my chromatic castle glitter. This is just the finest, most ultra powdery glitter that I use. I stirred all of that up and was feeling like the blue vibes were not strong enough. So I wanted to add a little drop of blue, but I don't use alcohol ink anymore. I use resin dye and I always forget that resin dye is just ultra concentrated and even just one drop was way too much. And I think we've lost the winter vibes entirely, but I don't know. We still kind of have water vibes. Listen, I'm never mad about a pretty blue sparkly dice set, so... This doesn't hurt my feelings that much. I still think it's really pretty, but one day I will make a video for you all about resin dye and then I will watch it 5,000 times so that I remember to stop using so darn much all the time. And if you were wondering, yes, I stopped using alcohol ink intentionally. I was just having way too many problems with alcohol ink of almost every color burning in my resin. So I just decided to stop fighting it and just 
switch to resin dye. I still have alcohol ink that I use for a couple of things, but it's honestly pretty rare and I never use purples and pinks anymore because those always seem to burn for me. After filling the mold completely, I did add some excess resin to the lid. I do this almost always, but I definitely do it with a brand new mold that I've never used before because I just am not sure how it's going to work and obviously all resin has shrinkage. So I put that lid on nice and tight. The keys lined up really nicely. And again, just like in the last mold review, I did not put a weight on this lid. However, you can tell by looking at it before I demold it that it doesn't look like the lid floated up at all, which is great. Full disclosure, I would still always recommend weighting down your lids. You never know what can happen. But for this test, I didn't do it and the set turned out pretty good. The flashing was nice and thin, which you can have thin flashing on a bad mold and you can have thick flashing on a good mold, but in general, I find thin flashing is a really good sign when working with a new mold for the first time. I am already noticing, however, the same issue we had with the Let's Resin mold of the numbers just being really shallow. Fortunately for us this time, there are no raised faces. So having the shallow numbers is not going to be as big of an issue. The cleanup on this die set is going to be minimal. I'm only gonna need to do a little bit of sanding for the sake of polish. And I don't think it's gonna be enough to lose those numbers, but you can tell they are pretty shallow. And I always recommend looking for a mold or masters with nice deep numbers because I just think it's going to save you a lot of hassle down the road. That being said, this is actually a really beautiful dice set. I cannot believe I got a result this crisp and clean from a $20 mold. Would I recommend this if you wanted to go into dice making as a business? No, absolutely not. But if you are new to the hobby and you want to learn how to make dice and you don't want to spend a fortune, I think this mold is a really great option. Not only did it produce really nice dice, but it also came with some fun extras like the pipettes and the silicone mat. And that's just kind of some great stuff to have on hand, even if you already have some. So overall, if you are looking for a value mold on Amazon, this is absolutely the one I would recommend to you. I will link it in the description below so you can find it really easily. You can also expect it to be in my Amazon storefront going forward in my tools for beginners. I might even add it to my favorite products list because honestly, this is one of my favorite molds I've ever seen on Amazon. So I really think this is great for starting out. I really love how this set turned out. There's no raised faces. The mold was very clean. I didn't have any scratches or mold marks of note. As you can see here with the dice all inked up, they really do look beautiful. You can definitely still tell how shallow those numbers are, but that's not going to affect the dice once they're finished. That's really only an issue for when you are in the process of working on and completing your dice set. This die set has actually not been sanded or polished. It came out of the mold so crisp that all I did was clean up the edges with an X-Acto knife and make sure all of the excess flashing was removed. And this is a perfectly usable set of dice. Now, if I was planning on selling this, I probably would have gone through the extra effort to sand and polish it to make it absolutely flawless. But I hit a thousand followers this week and I decided I really want to do a giveaway. And this is the only set that I have ready to give away. So... Rather than polishing it, I am just going to give it to one of you and you can see firsthand how great this mold is by looking at a set of unpolished dice that came out of it. Of course, it has been inked. It's inked in white so that you can see the numbers. I really wanted to contribute to the icy or watery vibes or whatever we're going for. Now, how do you win this set of dice, you may ask? That's a great question. I'd love to tell you. Dice, they're, they're done. They're really pretty. How do you win them? This is gonna be pretty easy. All you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Please like this video and leave a comment on this video letting me know what type of content you'd like to see from me going forward. I have spent a lot more energy on this channel in the last couple of weeks and I'm really excited to continue making great TTRPG and Dungeons and Dragons content for you. Obviously, I'm going to continue making dice content. You can expect a lot more tutorials from me in the future. 
But honestly, I'd be happy to do a lot more stuff with this channel. I would love to do things that are dice adjacent or maybe just content for the TTRPG space or the D&D space. One of the things I've thought about doing is actually going to local game stores and interviewing them, not just obviously in my area, but I'm also in North Carolina quite a lot. We're going to Florence and Rome in March, so that might be fun to film some local game stores out there. So that's one idea I have, but I'd honestly love to hear what ideas you have. So to enter this giveaway, just leave me a comment and let me know what types of content you would be most interested in watching. I will announce the winner of this giveaway in one week. So next Thursday, I don't know what type of video I'm gonna be making. It'll be dice content and I'll, I'll share who the winner is on video to be determined. Thank you all so much for your support. Hitting a thousand subscribers this quickly is a dream and I'm glad that you wanna stick around because I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's learn together. I'll see you next week.